Hey, welcome back to our special coverage of the John Deere Classic. Did you guys know since 1971, this tournament has delivered more than $173 million to regional charities. That's more than any other PGA event on the tour. And a lot of that comes from Birdies for Charity program. Now, last year was yet another record year for Birdies for Charity, raising, I'll save that part actually, how many millions of dollars <laughs> they raised. But it's why we are joined right now by Michaela Booth, the director of Birdies for Charity. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Why don't we start off by, I'm sure everyone in this area has heard of Birdies for yeah. Charity, but really quickly, how does this work? Yeah, so basically Birdies for Charity uses the momentum of the John Deere Classic, so this awesome tournament that's right behind us. Um, we use that momentum and excitement every week. It's nationally televised. It's a professional sporting event. We use that to power some good in our community and use it to generate pledges for charities in our area. So when someone gives, a ch gives to Birdies for Charity, all of the money goes to the charity of their choice? Absolutely. So when someone makes a donation to their charity, we have a, almost 500 charities who participate with us. And when you choose that charity from our donor or our charity list, 100% is going right back to that charity. We don't take out any administrative fees for them, and we handle all of that administrative work for them, too. So let's talk about some of those numbers. How yeah. did we do last year, and how does that kind of just add to the total. Yeah, we were very excited last year to say that we broke another record. We did $14.1 million. That was the total that the John Deere Classic was able to announce. Much of that happened through Birdies for Charity. Um, and it's just a testament to how that number has grown over the years. Like you said, um, since we started in 1971, it's been up to $173 million that we've donated back to the area. I'm so curious for this. Do you yeah. talk to other tournaments on tour that do similar fundraisers like this? I mean, what's their reaction considering that this tournament raises the most? Yeah, 100%. That's a great question because the success of Birdies for Charity has been seen and noticed across the PGA Tour so much so that we actually licensed the program out to about 15 other tournaments across the country who use the same format to help um, generate funds for charities in their area. Wow. So we've spoken yeah. you know, before, and you, I mean, you take this very seriously. Yeah. Um, it's a competition not only kind of amongst ourselves to yes. beat maybe the previous number, but do you feel some, some of that pressure to, to do that and to continue the momentum? We do. We're very proud of what we're able to announce uh, as far as our charitable contributions go. And we do have, um, we're in the world of competitive sports, and we're all a little bit competitive. So we like to announce a bigger number every year. We're really proud that... There are numerous charitable organizations or charitable programs throughout the PGA Tour, and we consistently come in number one per capita of charitable giving in the Quad Cities, which we're the smallest market. So it's really something to be proud of. We live in a very generous uh, community here in the Quad Cities. Well, it, maybe you know the exact numbers. I was looking mm -hmm. at it earlier. It comes out to like $40 a person in the area. That's, yeah, that has to be close. It's between $35, $40 per person. Wow. Yeah. Um, so when are you going to reveal how much money was raised this year? Yeah, so we're actually moving that up a bit. It's typically been Halloween every year, but we're moving it up to early October, October 10th. We'll distribute all of the funds to the charity, so it's an always exciting day to hand out some money, and we'll announce the overall total that we've done. Hopefully more than 14.1. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> $1 more, anything more than that, we'll be very happy. Still a record, right? Still a record. <laughs> 500 or so charities. Yeah. Can you give us a sense of just what areas of the community they touch because you've talked about how everyone is effectively impacted by this. Sure. I mean, most of the charities that participate with us are going to be in your Rock Island and Scott County, but our radius is within 125 miles. So it stretches as far as Dubuque, um, uh, Iowa City. Uh, there are just surrounding communities um, south of the Quad Cities, Mercer County as well, Henry County. There are some charities that participate with us. So, I mean, it really does reach so far in the variety of charities that participate. It's hard to find somebody in the community that isn't touched by something that these organizations are doing. So from now till Sunday, can people still donate? How does that work? We're actually closing donations um, Friday. Tomorrow is the last day to get those donations in. So we can still donate online. It's going to be open to um, midnight tomorrow night. So we encourage everyone if they want to donate this year through Birdies to get those in tomorrow. And then just for planning purposes, yeah. if there's a charity out there that is not part of this, yeah. can they be thinking about this for next year? A hundred percent. Once we get through this season, we'll open up those charity signups again, and we just ask to see their 501c3 um, letter from the IRS and make sure that they're within our area, and the application process is very easy beyond that. Incredible. Michaela, yeah. you are a busy woman. We're very <laughs> thankful for your time here today. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And there's